Hello audience. Hello a new day, September 11th, 2024. Part 1 today. I want to share with the community a day of fishing experience during the storm season at the stream. My teammates today consist of three people. We are using knives to cut small bamboo branches to make fishing rods. This area is very dense. We have to be very careful. Otherwise a sharp thorn might prick our hand, or a snake might be waiting there, biting our leg. Everything today is zero. As time went by, we also got some young bamboo. To make a fishing rod, about 10 trees. And here is the fishing line with the hook. Because there was no lead, we bought a temporary pair of Kong Trang feathers to connect him together. We worked enthusiastically while working. We reminisced about the past, next to the newly built hut. Every day at this time, the clouds gather and are about to pour heavy rain on the forest and grasslands, making travel very difficult. The rain really came. It poured down heavily. We had to temporarily hide in the tent. Wait for the rain to stop, then we could go fishing. The rain brought wind and noise to the makeshift tent. My friends and I were also worried, if the wind was too strong and the roof was damaged, today's trip would be useless. The anxiety was gone, after two hours. The rain had stopped. My friends and I started to go fishing on the boat. We used the bamboo branches we had made this morning. Put them on the boat and started the journey to the intended location. On the chair were fishing rods and baits for fishing insects. The stream rose high. My friends and I moved along the stream bank and put the fishing rods under the water to make 30 fishing rods. We weaved through the bushes slowly. It took about two hours because the stream from upstream poured into the river. Moving was also difficult. We don't waste time, but we take the boat away and glide on the water. Avoid the places with strong currents. At the same time find the most suitable place to catch fish for a delicious meal today.
The expectation of today's time has also come. Outside the space is dark, making it difficult to go around and visit the fishing rod. We look to see if there are any fish caught. Sometimes the bait runs out, but no fish are caught. The fishing rods that no longer have bait, we will bring it back to study again. Or put new bait on the hook. To put it in another place the next day. We kept going to visit the fishing rod and lifted the fishing rod to see if there were any fish. It was difficult. Our vision was limited. We only had a flashlight. Always watching our friend who was working. The rain was falling sporadically, but we still persevered and continued working. Occasionally, a few fish got caught. The excitement and joy were indescribable, and the anxiety that if we were not careful, the hook would break and the fish would go away and disappear. Because when the fish bit the hook, the fish would struggle to escape. They would put the line into the bushes, branches under the deep water, and get stuck there. That's why we were very careful when we saw the fish caught. Stay tuned to see how the harvest goes today and give your comments and thoughts. work tonight 
has been completed. We sailed the boat on the water, back to the hut. The remaining brothers took the hook out from the fish's mouth. In general, the result tonight was just enough for dinner. The fish were fresh, still alive, struggling, conveniently, passing by the banana tree. Picked a pen to bring home to cook soup. To give it a sweet taste. We just got home. We divided the work among ourselves. In no time, the fire was burning, making the space in the hut warmer. After a hard day's work, in no time, the rice was cooked. The fish soup was also just finished. We gathered to eat and drink together. While eating, we told stories in the quiet night of the mountains and forests. Every party ends. Every joy of experience ends. I would like to stop here. See you again. If you find this to be your hobby, do not hesitate to give a like or subscribe to the channel to continue watching the next episode. Thank you.